Hello everybody, by the title of this video, you already know what we're about to be talking about today. How to build a clothing brand from scratch. Uh, me personally, I have tried to build a clothing brand multiple times. Um, it, it turned out really well, um, but my only problem was that when I was building it, I was like, uh, do I want to go with this name? Do I want to go with that name? I just didn't know what I wanted to do, what type of clothes I wanted to put out there. And I feel like that's what is kind of, that was what was like holding me back from moving any, you know, from moving further, basically is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so I would say, um, before we get started, I would like you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe. If there's any other videos you want to see besides this one, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, so first we're about to talk about, um, you know, step by step, how to get started. Um, you know, I've, I've been really doing my research on this. I've been watching multiple YouTube videos, uh, doing a lot of research, and just really trying to get a good understanding of, where I need to go and every time I just come across the same YouTube videos over and over and over again so that's what kind of made me want to make this video right here um basically to talk about something a little different um how I got started what I did step by step first um so yeah that's this is the whole purpose of this video so enough of all of that <laughs> let's just get right into it so the first thing I did was I went on YouTube and basically, um, in the search, I was just looking up how to start a clothing brand. That's what I was looking up in the search, how to start a clothing brand. And I came across numerous videos. And out of all those videos, I've watched maybe five to ten videos. Um, one video that did stand out to me was... How to, how to start a clothing brand with zero dollars by uh, John Santos. I'll put that in the description below. His video really stood out um, because it just kind of gave me like an understanding. But as I kept going, um, I think that the biggest struggle when starting a clothing brand is going to be the vendors. Uh, finding the type of stuff that you're trying to sell. You know what I'm saying? I do believe that you can start a clothing brand with, I wouldn't say zero dollars, but um, the only way, I feel like the only way, they don't really like explain this to you for real, but the only way that you're going to be able to start a clothing brand with zero dollars, if you do print, print demand, which you can do that with uh, Shopify, you can do that with a couple of other uh, websites, um, that's the only way that you're going to start with zero dollars. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the only way. But when I started, um, I think most of my cost, when I started, I started with, I would say maybe like less than a thousand dollars. And what I did was I started with t-shirts because t-shirts, it's not hard to go and find a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? You can go to Walmart, you can go to Target and you can find that exact same t-shirt over and over and over again, a blank t-shirt. And uh, what I did was I just started to experiment a little bit, see what I wanted to do, see what I wanted to, you know, um, put on like my clothes and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you something that I've made right here. This is one of my shirts that I've made. Um, this right here, I actually found this sweatshirt at uh, a thrift store actually um because i i felt like i wanted to you know go ahead and get started but when you're working you know it depends on your situation if you have money to go ahead and just go buy a whole bunch of t-shirts do that but if you're looking to test it out and start small i would say thrift stores or like i said walmart you can find a shirt three four bucks to get started maybe cheaper um sweatshirts they got sweatshirts they got hoodies like it's it's really not that difficult, you know what I'm saying? To um, if you're just dealing with like sweatshirts and regular shirts, 
and stuff like that. It's not, it's really not that difficult. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. So yeah, this is what I started off with. You know what I'm saying? Something simple, something plain. Oh, and I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, I wouldn't call it basic, but it's not like too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, and that's what I did for that. Um, I have a couple of other ones that uh, I did. Sorry. This one right here. You know, this is just something simple right here. Off to the side. Got something going on in the back. So, yeah, with these shirts, literally, guys, these are just, like, these are just shirts that um, I picked up along the way to just kind of sample it out because, you know, you really got to get a feel for what you're trying to do. And so that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? I just got a bunch of different shirts and I kind of was just, like, sampling it out to see what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? And these shirts, two, three bucks. You know what I'm saying? So it's really not that difficult. Um... You know what I'm saying? You can even start with like one or two shirts, one or two designs, and you can just start from there. Get shirts either in your size or another person's size who is going to try on the shirt for you. And you know, you could take pictures of yourself in your clothes, or you could take pictures of them in your clothes. It's really up to you how you want to do that. Me personally, um, when I first started off, I made these shirts in my size. And I took a picture of myself and I just started to really rep my brand and uh, wear my brand everywhere I went. You know what I'm saying? So I can like get some of that recognition and like when I'm going to like family events, uh, events with my friends and stuff. They're like, oh, where you get that shirt from? There you go. Free advertising right there. You know, if you are a type of person that go out a lot, make something. Make something that represents your brand and wear it while you're out. So yeah, that's that's what I did. And I know some of you are probably wondering, well, how did you get the letters and stuff on your clothing? Well, either you can find somebody to do that for you or you can actually go online and design shirts how you want to design them and do it like that. Or this machine right here. You can use that machine and just make them handmade. It's really up to you. Like I said, um, how I did it, I did it handmade. Um, just felt like it would it would be easier, it would be better, low cost. But once you're doing all of this, if you're just like, how can I put it? Okay, if you're starting off, you know what I'm saying, you really have to calculate the cost and you know cost for material cost for shirts you have to make sure that you're calculating all of that into um how much you're gonna like sell these shirts for say i'm gonna sell this particular shirt right here for like twenty dollars okay how much how much was the shirt how much did i buy the shirt for okay how much did it cost to get the material put onto the shirt you really just have to calculate all that in there um so you know, I know some people be like, oh, your shirts are too expensive. Oh, that's way too much. Like, but really, when you're starting a clothing brand, um, depending where you're ranging your prices from, they don't understand that you have to calculate all of the expenses that came out of your pocket into that cost. You know? So, yeah. Um, that's kind of what I did where I started as far as, like, the shirts and the sweatshirts and stuff like that. Um, I've really been, like I said, I've really been trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do next because I wanna be different. You know what I'm saying? When you start in a clothing brand, you wanna be different from everybody else. You don't wanna be the same, you know, person is gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna put out the same thing such as I just putting out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wanna be different. And you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm not gonna say that, you know what I'm saying? I'm completely where I want to be. No, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. But I will. I will. So, um, as we go further into it, um, a lot of people say find vendors on Alibaba or find US, USA vendors and US vendors. And guys, if you're just getting started, I would just recommend going to your local store and looking for things there that you can buy three four times 
You know what I'm saying? Don't get no don't get a shirt that looks like you can buy it once, but it, there's no guarantee that if you go back to the store, that same shirt is going to be there. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, as far as Alibaba, I have been looking on Alibaba and when I was looking on there, you know what I'm saying? They have a lot of different clothes and uh, it's a lot of different vendors on there. Um, I've known a couple of people who have actually bought things from Alibaba. I myself have not bought anything yet, but I have been uh, messaging people on here to try and figure out uh, how much does this cost? How much does that cost? Because the cost is what's really important, especially if you're working on a budget. You know, um, so like I said, I would recommend if you're working on a budget, go to your local store and just get shirts from there. You know, but if you're working on, on more of a high scale, a high scale budget, then yeah, if you find a vendor on Alibaba, then go for it. You know, so um, when I went on here, I just typed in, uh, let's do blank shirts let's do that okay when i went on here i found a couple of options on here wholesale high quality washed men's t-shirt 100 percent cotton okay you can go on here and you can see like the different sizes and all of that different how the quality is they're explaining the quality to you 100 percent cotton um see this is what gets you this is what this is what I just don't understand. I mean, I guess I understand, but for samples, it's kind of like they're like forcing you to pretty much order in bulk, I guess, because for a sample, to buy a sample, it's trying to charge me $65. And, you know, that's with shipping and all of that, but that's just one shirt. That's just one shirt that they're trying to charge me for. So it's like, if you're really going to order from Alibaba, you need to order in bulk. Like, if you have the intentions in order in bulk, then you're just going to have to order in bulk. And on here, they can customize it for you. They can do whatever. Um, one thing I will say, if you are going to order from Alibaba, please make sure that you check to, to see if the vendor is a verified supplier. That is very important. See how many transactions they've had. See if they do on-time delivery. Even though your package may not come on time, it's still good to check that. You know, to see like their delivery rate, fast delivery, you know, just all of that. Like when you on here, you just want to make sure that you look out for that. So as I'm looking, this shirt is a little expensive, $8.99. I mean, I guess it's really not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, 30 to 100 pieces. It's not too bad. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's go for Letterman jacket. I've seen a lot of people do like clothing with like Letterman jackets. They got a few on here. They got a few on here. See, this is see this is what I'm saying. If you're trying to order in bulk, then Alibaba will probably be your best bet. That way you can get everything that you're trying to get. You know, but just start off small, start off consistent. There is other vendors out there. You just really have to do your research. I personally would recommend if you're looking for vendors, go to YouTube. Free information. Um, I've watched a couple of videos and I've came across a couple of vendors. I actually just the other day ordered uh, a sweatsuit set from a vendor i'm not going to disclose that because that's my vendor um as of right now but i would tell you go to youtube and just type in vendors for clothing brands if you watch the videos if you take the notes you will come across some good vendors because they're, they're they be giving out free information they be giving out, giving out free information so if you're really trying to do that that's the way to go but yeah, Alibaba is not bad. Like I said, I've known a few people who've actually used them. Um, I haven't ordered for myself because I just feel like... I just feel like if I, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. So if I go and order from them, like I said, it would just have to be in bulk. So if you're not trying to do no bulk order, I wouldn't recommend it. 
But if you are like looking for like bulk wholesaler, like you're gonna store this stuff, you're gonna get to making this stuff, and then you you like you have a plan set in motion, and you just ready to just go out there and just do it, go for it. All right, y'all. So that's all I got for this video. So like I said, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and uh, post comments down below if you have any questions or you want to see new videos, whatever the case may be. And I'll see you guys on the next video.